Hey everyone, Ian King here, editor at Smart Profits Daily. And today I want to talk to you about what I think will be the biggest disruption in the next 10 years. And if you haven't figured it out yet, if you haven't been watching the stock market over the last couple of years, the biggest disruption is going to come in the mobility market. And this market is a $7 trillion global market and it entails anything from getting person from point A to point B to shipping a good around the world. Okay, so the way that we move people and things around the world will be completely disrupted in the next 10 years. Of course, if you look at the stock market, you can see signs that this is coming. Tesla is up over a thousand percent in the last year. And all these new mobility companies, including electric vehicle companies and self-driving companies and auto parts manufacturers are all going up in anticipation of this massive disruption of a $7 trillion market. Now, three reasons why this market is just ripe for disruption. It comes from the convergence of three technologies. And I've talked about this before because this is going to be the biggest shift in mobility, in transportation that we've seen in a hundred years. Okay, so the last time we had a massive paradigm shift was in the 1920s when the horse and buggy was replaced by the current automotive, or at least back then it was an old gas jalopy. Now, the three reasons why this is going to happen is number one, the price of lithium ion batteries has dropped 95% over the last decade and it continues to drop. And what that means is that it will soon be cheaper to produce an electric car than it is to produce a gas powered vehicle. Okay. And the crossover point, which analysts had expected not to come to the late 2020s is showing that it's coming sooner every single year. So back in 2016, analysts said 2026. And then in 2017, they said it was coming sooner. And then even more recently, it could come within the next year. In fact, Tesla has plans to produce a $25,000 electric vehicle, which if you look at the specs on it, will be better than any compact car out there and also cheaper. So number one is cheaper lithium ion batteries and the prices just keep dropping. Number two is 5G communications because 5G communications is going to enable self-driving vehicles because you cars will be able to communicate with sensors on the roads and with other cars as fast as a human can react. Because with 5G, there's no latency, okay? And we need human-like reflexes in order to have self-driving cars really proliferate on the roads. And lastly, the number three reason is because artificial intelligence just keeps getting better. Now, the word artificial intelligence is a bit of a misnomer. It's not really that machines are becoming intelligent. They're just better at making predictions. Now, think about, about what that means, because if you're driving your car and you're on the interstate highway, in order for you to navigate the roads, your brain is constantly making these predictions, right? Maybe there's a truck coming up on your left that you need to maybe move over in the lane, or there's somebody up ahead that has their directional signal on, and then maybe you've got an exit coming up you have to get off on, so you have to navigate the traffic that's on your right side as you move over. So you're making these predictions in order to drive your car safely down the roads. And self-driving vehicles and software is just getting better and better at making these predictions. Now, the mobility industry is changing in ways that we have not seen in 100 years because the idea of a car used to be this big mechanical thing with lots of levers and uh, you know gears and parts. But now with electric vehicles, a car is basically a computer on wheels. And in fact, if you have a Tesla or know someone that has a Tesla, they can upgrade their cars by the click of a button. So you can download new software and Tesla will make these improvements where, where the batteries will last longer or the speeds will improve, or you can download a full self-driving software. And that really changes who can make cars. Because in the past, you had to be an automotive company with lots of experience. Now you have to just really be able to understand software because there are, there are auto manufacturers that will make these cars for you if you can design them. 
And that's the reason why big tech is getting into the auto industry, which is going to make this transformation happen even faster. Uh, we've seen recently that a Baidu, which is a Chinese tech giant, has carved out about $1.5 billion for the sector. Google, with their Waymo project, has invested about $3.5 billion. And Tesla has invested uh, over $5 billion in self-driving. All in all, even last year, there was $16 billion that had been invested in self-driving. Now, because there is a bit of a mania going on with Tesla and with all these other EV companies that are coming to market, it is going to provide these companies and these startup ideas with more cash than they can imagine. Okay, so they're selling stock, they're taking in cash, they're using it for research and development, they're using it to launch their projects, and it's just going to accelerate this whole push because of the money that's going into the space. Now, there is a bit of a speculative mania going on, I, I will be the first to admit. And Tesla really reminds me of a stock from 25 years ago that tipped off the dot-com mania, and that was AOL. If you remember back in the mid-90s, AOL was really the first internet company. And the investors who invested in AOL in the early 90s did as well as or even better than investors have in Tesla in the past decade. And once those investors started cashing out their gains in AOL, then they started investing in other dot-com stocks. And you had that big mania in 98 and 99, which eventually led to the dot-com crash in 2000. We're starting to see the same thing happen, where investors who have big gains in Tesla start to invest in other electric vehicle companies, SPACs that buy these EV companies, and other startups. So. It is another investment mania along the likes that we've seen is dot-com. And that's why I think that transportation is going to be the biggest disruption in the 2020s. Now, last but not least, just a bit of research from what we've come up with. The big news here is that autonomous vehicles are going to cut the cost of you getting from point A to point B by about 90%. If you take a look at this chart here, you can see that the taxi costs about $3.80 per mile, Uber about $2. If you have your own car, it costs you about 70 cents per mile. And then lastly, an autonomous taxi will be about 25 cents per mile. Now, Think about this for one minute because a car is the worst investment you can make. I mean, you go buy a new car, you drive it off the lot, it depreciates by 20% immediately. It spends 99% of its life sitting in your driveway. And I'm sure a lot of you, myself included, have realized during the pandemic that maybe you don't need two cars. Maybe you don't need that extra car because you don't really go as many places as you thought you would. And so I think that this is will also accelerate the push to self-driving fleets uh, because people are realizing that rather than having multiple cars, they can always just for 25 cents a mile hire an autonomous taxi when they need to get from point A to point B. So I think that is going to be a big catalyst for the self-driving uh, vehicle industry as these autonomous fleets start to come to market. You've already seen Google with Waymo uh, release one in Arizona and also in San Francisco. And I know Tesla is probably not that far behind as they're looking to make their cars full self-driving in the imminent future. That's all for me. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the autonomous vehicle future or if you invested in any of these stocks, we'd love to hear from you. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Have a great weekend and thanks for tuning in. Take care.